Hi guys, I'm Mr. Pitts and this is the water cleaning challenge. What you're going to need is you're going to need some kind of sugar, you're going to need some salt, you're going to need a plastic wrap, you're going to need something that can color the water that you're going to use. I'm going to use sriracha because I don't have any food coloring, but if you have food coloring at home, you can use that or you can use any juices or sodas that have color. I'm going to use a mug because I think this will be the easiest way for me to heat the hot water in my microwave. And you also need two clear glass bowls. These don't have to be clear, but you're going to be able to see the water cycle much easier with clear bowls. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to fill this with just a little bit of water. Enough water that this sinks but doesn't float, okay? Let's see. I'm going to have to practice this myself. I'm going to put this in. If you can see here, the little bowl inside is clearly, it's floating a little bit, but it's not going to, it's not going to tip over. If it tips over, we've got a problem. So what I can do now is I can take out my little bowl and I'm going to pour this into a mug. And I'm going to heat this in my microwave for about two minutes until it's boiling hot. Your microwave might be different. If you have to, you can also use a stove. Uh, you're going to want to use hot hands if you're using a stove. So. so I'm going to put this in for about two minutes. And that should get it nice and boiling hot. Perfect. All right, now I have my boiling hot water. I'm going to carefully pour this into the bigger bowl. I want to get most of it, if not all of it. I'm going to put in some salt. What we're going to do is we're polluting our water. I'm going to make this water polluted by adding sugar and salt. Two different things that are going to mix in and change the flavor of this water. I'm also going to add something that's going to pollute the color of the water. So I'm going to put a little bit of sriracha because I know the red color will make the water look polluted as well. So I'm going to mix this together. So I've kind of got this <clears throat> red, salty, sugary water. Now I need to quickly put this bowl inside. I need to cover it with plastic wrap. The quicker you do this, the better so that you don't lose the heat from the boiling water. I'm going to quickly cover this with saran wrap. I can get it. And then I've got my ice tray already. You're going to have to get ice ready beforehand. And I'm going to put these ice cubes right over top of where the small bowl is. Just like this. So as you can see here, I have my full setup, right? I've got my boiling hot water right here that's been polluted with salt and sugar and sriracha sauce. Um, by boiling the water, I've given it the heat that it's gonna need to evaporate, okay? And this, wa this evaporated water is going to rise up as water vapor. And as it reaches the top, it's gonna interact with this cold ice. And this cold ice is like the cold ice, is like the cold atmosphere. It's kind of coming apart. It's like the cold atmosphere. And this is hopefully going to cause my water to condense back up here and then eventually rain out or precipitate right into the empty, clear little glass bowl. Now this part is going to take a couple minutes because we need enough water to actually recondense and precipitate out into the cup enough so that we can actually try it to see if this water is actually clean. As you can see around, you can't maybe not be able to see it here, but as you watch on your own system, you should be able to see water form on the side, okay? This water should be clean. This water has evaporated and then recondensed onto the side. It has hopefully left everything else behind, which would be the salt, the sugar, and everything in the sriracha sauce. 
You're gonna have to wait about five minutes for this experiment to be over for you to try the water. So go ahead and set a timer for five minutes. All right, it's been about five minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I have to still kind of be careful because the water at the bottom is still a little warm. Um, I'm gonna take this ice and I can just throw it right into the sink or dispose of it however you wish. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this water off just from the top from where the ice melted. And if I lift up my plastic wrap, I can actually see there's still condensation. If you have it, try and angle it so that you can kind of drip it. You can kind of make it rain into that bowl that's empty. And all of this water that has evaporated and recondensated should still be pretty, should be clean completely. So what you can do is you can take a little spoon. You're not gonna find much water in here, just a little bit. But I want you to take your spoon, or you can just taste clean to me. So it's good to go. All right, so this is the experiment I want you guys to do, and you guys need to show your entire process, okay? Um, you can also take the water from the side and see how that tastes, and see if anything's left. Cool. All right, this is your experiment. Have a good one, guys.